Mila, come to mommy. No. Cute. You cute today, girl. So pretty. That's the gentleman in my living room. Hello, hello. Can you clap your hands? Hello, hello. Can you clap your hand? You're not going to clap your hands this morning? Thank you. Hello, hello. Can you clap your hand? Hello, hello. Can you clap your hands? Can you stretch up high? Can you touch your toes? Can you turn around? Can you say hello? Did you play me or did you do it? You played me, I can tell. Girl. You something else? You something else. One potato, two potato, three potato. Five potato, six potato, seven potato. More. <laughs> Good morning, people. Happy Tuesday. I did not pick up the vlog at all yesterday I just needed a day off camera to get some things done yeah I had a lot of back office things that I needed to do so I needed a day off camera and so I took a day off camera um I just dropped Mila off to school as you saw or you saw I was driving to school anyway but I dropped her off and listen we have entered a new chapter in school days okay let me tell y'all something this child did not cry, she did not whimper, none of that. Do you know what she did? I was holding on to her, her teacher opened the door, and she reached her arms out for the teacher to take her away. The teacher grabbed her and she started like tossing the teacher's ponytail. I was like, oh, well I'm right there. I guess somebody's ready for school. So, yeah. Just off that, it's gonna be a good day. It's gonna be a good day anyway. I got some more rest than usual. I think I think Nyla's starting to get it. She's been sleeping about a five hour stretch now. She's six weeks today. I'm six weeks postpartum today, which is crazy. With Mila, by seven weeks, she was sleeping all the way through the night. I would give her like a dream feed at 11 p.m. And sis would not wake up till 7 a.m. So I think by next week, Spot, which is exciting because I was completely losing my mind waking up every couple hours just to feed her but you know that's the that's the journey that is in my life so today I have my six week postpartum appointment with my midwife I'm so excited to see her yo you all have no idea how much I love this woman she has delivered both of my babies first go around we were all on lockdown it was 2020 okay I could not have people like my husband couldn't even come with me 
to our ultrasound appointments at some point. I think he got to see maybe one or two ultrasounds and then after that, he couldn't even come to the appointments with me anymore. But she was there with me all, every single step of the way. She was a friend. My mom couldn't be there um, at those appointments, obviously. But we were also on lockdown, so you know, and I was pregnant, there wasn't a whole lot of information about what was going on. So we just were keeping our distance just to stay safe. So, you know, my mom wasn't physically around as much. So, I mean, she was like my mom, my friend, my sister, everything. She's, she's amazing. Um, and she used to give me hugs uh, during my appointments when I cried because I was overwhelmed even though we were supposed to be doing the six foot thing. Listen, sometimes you just gotta get a little personal. So I just love her and she has taken amazing care of me as a woman, as a mother, and she's concerned about my children. It's not just deliver the baby, okay, how's the baby doing? No, she wants to make sure that my body is doing well for the long haul. So that's why, you know, I've done physical therapy a few times. She's probably gonna recommend I go back to physical therapy and if she recommends it, I'm going because they fixed me up real nice after I had Mila. So I'm just, I'm really excited to see her today. I'm excited to see how I'm progressing. I feel like I'm doing very well this time around. Like last time was, woo, it was something else. We haven't even talked about postpartum the first time around. We have so many things to discuss, but you know, we'll get there in time. So yeah, for now, I don't know how much I'll film because I gotta kind of prep to get myself together for my appointment later. So I wanna make sure I have Nyla all squared away, get myself something to eat, make sure Joshua gets some lunch and take care of whatever like things in between I need to do before heading out. So I don't know how much I'll talk to you guys after this, but I hope you enjoy whatever's next. Alrighty. Things that have been normalized in American society, as 
as well as within the black community as it pertains to motherhood and whatnot has not been normalized in her eyes and i appreciate that and she's the she's the director of the midwifery team at, at the practice and so she, she does her best to instill that in all of the midwives all of the, the women that she's come across all the midwives that she's trained in her 20 plus year career so far um interns that come under her wing like the importance of holistic health for women and she's such a strong advocate for that and she's so passionate about it and whenever i have a conversation with her about women women women's health and women's mental health and mom's health like all the things related to us folk i'm just so fired up <laughs> as you can tell i'm so fired up because it took me struggling big time postpartum with my first child to really really understand what women endure and like in our life experiences once you once you change from woman who's never had a baby to mother it's different it is so different and I had no idea I was not prepared I read all the things about the about my baby about what to expect from her as she develops what to do to foster that development all kind of stuff but what I neglected to do was educate myself on myself and what to expect during the postpartum phase and like how to take care of myself, what to, you know, these hormone surges and everything that affects your mood, affects your body, affects your weight, affects everything. Like I did, did zero research. I didn't even realize that there was an area of life that I needed to put a lot of attention to postpartum. I had no clue. I literally had no clue. So I went into to this experience much more educated, much more aware of what I would need to be okay this time around. And it has worked so beautifully. And quite frankly, doing YouTube has been a part of how I've managed postpartum. Postpartum depression and anxiety hit me big time, y'all. Big time. Big time. And I'm a, I'm a psychotherapist by trade. Okay? So when folks are struggling with depression, anxiety, you know, all the, all the different things, they come see me but I, I needed to go see someone else and I was very transparent about that and no matter how much people around me tried to normalize that I did not feel like myself I did not feel like myself whatsoever you know and on top of that I am a clinician so I know what the signs are and I just I was not okay I was not okay and I refused to have that same experience this time simply because I did not have the proper education I did not I was not aware of the supports that I needed and wanted to put in place to be sure that I could be okay. So this time around, I'm so grateful. I'm just, I'm, I'm so grateful for a better experience. I'm so grateful for my midwifery team, for my husband, for all of our family members that have been actively supportive, our friends that have been actively supportive, and for all of you all for coming on this journey with us. I can't see all the names of the per people that are subscribed to our channel, but a lot of our friends and family are here with us. And there's some faces that we don't know. You know, you guys have decided to come along this journey with perfect strangers. And I appreciate it because regardless of whether you know us in real life or not, community is community and support is support and every little bit helps. So I'm grateful to have you all here. And yeah, I just wanna, I just wanna continue to share my experiences, good, bad, ugly otherwise i just want to share because i am on a mission to help somebody else no matter how minor it may seem i just i'm on a mission to help somebody else and if i can help another woman another mother another father another young man young woman grandparent friend cousin whatever like if i can help anybody by sharing a bit of my experience and just being real this is real life this is why these vlogs are called real life because this is what it is if I, and, and if my real life experiences our real life experiences as a family can be a blessing to somebody else out there listen let's keep it going okay so again thank you all for being here i appreciate y'all so much i really 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 want to do a video on my postpartum journey and like the things that have helped me to come through it more successfully if i can say it that way um or like in a more manageable way i really want to talk about that because i've found some amazing resources that helped me this time around and i just want everybody else to know about them so it's so it's done i'm doing it i'm filming it look out for that yep i'm hype my midwife got me she, she, she got me fired up y'all she got me fired up but in a good way and all of that chatter i totally forgot to mention that i am going back to physical therapy which i'm actually excited about like i thought it was a death sentence the first time i had to go but it's really like an essential part of postpartum care and you don't even know that it's an essential part of postpartum care if you've never had that as a part of your treatment and 
advocating for them to, to access these services, especially if you're a person of color. Those resources resources are not offered to us enough, which is why you got black women dying left and right and giving birth. I'ma go because I'm, I'm getting fired up again. <laughs> and y'all gonna be sitting here listening to me talk for 20 minutes. But I really do, I really am passionate about women's health now. Now that I'm on the other side and I I am disappointed in myself as a woman for not being more aware and not being more of an advocate before now. But you know what you know. You live and you learn. And I've definitely learned so much. Real life has taught me so much. And I hope my real life can teach and help somebody else out there. So I'm gone. I've been talking too much. But I hope it was helpful at some point. I am now like extra fired up. One thing my child is not gonna get at daycare is sunburn. They have this girl basted like a turkey. Look at mommy. <laughs> she know I'm trying to show her face. Look at mommy. Why they got my baby looking yeah, like a ghost, yeah, y'all? Yeah, she don't need yeah, that much yeah. sunscreen. I mean, I appreciate the fact that they don't want her to get burned up. However. <laughs> Good morning from Mommy and Minnie. Just us today. Daddy's in the office. Mila is at school. You guys saw me get her ready and drop her off today. Um, and so it's just Mommy and Nyla Jane today. 
and I would love to be anywhere but at home. Yesterday was a rough day, rough night. I'm probably running off about two hours of sleep. And I'm not feeling so great today, if I'm being honest. I usually try to keep the energy really like upbeat and positive. And, um, you know, I hope you still get that from this vlog, but I also want to keep it real. <laughs> and today I'm not feeling, I'm not feeling so hot. And I don't know what the plan is to feel better. But we're going to start with breakfast. And, um, maybe a nap. And then, um, yeah, this one's got to get a bath. She hasn't had her bath today. And she has a doctor's appointment tomorrow. So I definitely want to get prepped for that. But maybe when Mila and Daddy get home, we can go for a family stroll in our local park. We we used to do that very, very often um, when it was just Mila. Um, but it's a little harder to get out the house now with the two tiny people. So... Um, yeah, that usually does does us pretty well to get out and get some fresh air and such. So, um, yeah, maybe that's the move for today. I don't know how much of this I'm gonna, how much of the day I'm gonna film. My plan is just to kind of clean and keep my mind um, occupied, keep my hands busy. So once I eat and take a nap, I'll probably just spend the day cleaning. I did remove my protective style. Ugh, which felt so good to remove, but we still have to we still have to have wash day. And I don't think I'm going to tackle that until this weekend, sadly. So y'all going to get this bun <laughs> until next week. So, yeah. Hope y'all are doing okay. And um, this vlog finds you well. Don't you hate those emails? Hope this email finds you well. I got my nerve. I put that in emails all the time. <laughs> I hope this email finds you well. Uh, but I really do. I hope this vlog finds you well and in good spirits. And if it does, please send me some positivity and, you know, happy thoughts and well wishes down in the comment section below. So I'm going to get going so I can give you something to eat and get on with the day. Thanks for being here. guess we're going to add a change of clothes for mommy to that to-do list today. Thank you for that. Appreciate it. When Twin Mommy leaves, the girls go up. Oh, going it's okay, it's okay. She'll be back. She'll be back. <laughs> Girl, just take them with you. <laughs> just take them all with you. <laughs> Happy. 
your feet. If you're angry, 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 stomp your feet. If you're angry, 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 stomp your feet. Stomp your feet. If you're angry, 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 stomp your feet.